got to pretend you're on edibles. All right, welcome to CDT day 54. Just broke down camp and had this beautiful view while drinking some hot cocoa of those snow-capped mountains out there. I suspect they are part of the San Juans, but I don't know that. Uh, this uh, this camp ended up pretty good last night. Um, it, don't, it didn't end up raining too much, but uh, a number of stuff got wet. But it was nice to uh, have some cover over us, so we were uh, hanging out, just had some dinner, Liar. Had a good time. <laughs> Whoa! And um, now we're headed out to town, so about 15 miles gets us to the highway. And uh, we'll get to it. Yeah, we're being treated to a very beautiful morning. Blue skies as far as I can see. So we're gonna continue on, get this day going. Been climbing here for a little while. Um, part of this day is a thousand foot climb, but it's broken up by little flats and downs here and there. It's not a continuous thousand. But right now, I have about 400 feet to go before I hit my high point, and then it's mostly down to the road. About six and a half miles left, so I'm past halfway. Um, Jacob and Two Slice are behind me. I don't know how far away, so I've just been putting little J's in the ground. Uh, they know that that means J for Jandals, and I just make a little J like that. Yes, yes, artistry with my left hand, and then um, an arrow. Uh, most of it, most of the time, I put those J's at turns so that they know that I turned a certain way, and sometimes like there. I just put it on the trail directly so they know that I've already been through here and I'm not like somehow randomly behind them. And uh, eventually they'll catch up to me and we will hitch to town and have a great day. And it is beautiful out here still. Look at all that. Oh yeah. I know before I started making this video series, I said that I would set out to show you everything about the trail and how it affects people, the good and the bad. But I've only been, uh, I've only shown myself being either upset or pissed off at something about twice on this whole trail. And that's just because I'm having a great time. I'm not hiding anything from you guys. I'm not hiding any uh, tough, angry times or bad crap that's happened to me. I'm just having the time of my life out here. So everything's been fun. And I know that's different for other people. Some people struggle with this stuff mightily, but I just feel like this is always what I was meant to do. I was meant to not be tied down and just go out and hike, do what I love doing every single day. And I just feel like if I'm gonna be upset at something for longer than a really short period of time, like, um, like when I'm post-holing a lot, of course I get upset at that. But uh, it's all completely temporary. Like, as soon as I'm done post holing, I'm right back to happy again. So, I don't have anything linger because I feel like I would just be taking what I'm doing for granted. I should love every day that I'm out here, and so far I do. So, all that to say, I'm not hiding any bad stuff from you. This is what the trail looks like, and I'm loving every minute of it. One more benefit about being on the Colorado Trail is that um, there's more traffic. More people doing, you know, you have people doing the CDT and you have people doing the Colorado Trail. So this part of the trail gets a lot more traffic and therefore, uh, by majority, a much smoother trail. So I'm on like farm track or this single track and it's just really nice, easy to walk on. Uh, you just don't get trail much better than this. Beautiful single track through the woods. Nothing to step over. Solid ground. And barely, there's no like rocks or roots or anything. This is the trail I like. Right now anyway. All 
All right, just made it right next to the highway. Um, I have a pretty good view out here. Uh, beautiful stream below me right there. Yeah, the mountains and all that, it's really nice. But um, I came, let's see, I came from over here and went along the tree line and then up to where I am now. And I still uh, don't see uh, Jacob and Two Slice, so they're probably pretty far behind. Um, which makes sense because we were like taking some breaks some this morning, but for some reason I wasn't. I just like I was feeling it today, you know, just ready to get to work. So um, I just did this section 15 miles in just a hair over four hours. So that's um, it was it was 14.8 miles, and then it was four hours and 10 minutes. So that's about 3.6 miles per hour, which is really fast for me. And um, being able to hold that average for 15 miles felt pretty good. I had some standing breaks, but nothing longer than like 15 seconds or just stopping to put the J's in the ground so that they can find me. But I never took my pack off and I'm still going. So it, it feels really good mentally um, and physically. I just feel like this section has helped train me quite a bit. Um, you know, the 4,200 foot climb a couple days ago into those uh, snowy mountains really kicked my butt and now I'm kind of feeling better from it. Um, you know, I had a thousand foot climb, but I just walked the whole thing without stopping. It's, uh, it's really encouraging to see my cardiovascular health improve and, um, my strength as well. So it's a really nice thing to see and it, uh, it motivates me and it's probably what motivated me to come all the way over here without any big stops. So I'm feeling really good and uh, ready to get into town and clean myself up. So we just got a hitch into this really cool little town called Seguache in Colorado. It's about a 35 minute drive from the trail. Um, but we found there's a motel here and uh, food. So that is where we're headed first. The Village Pub Pizza and Spirits. I like pubs, I like pizza, and I like spirits. Sounds good to me. Uh, we're already starting to notice there's some other cool things around here. There's a post office, there's a, uh, there's a uh, theater over there. Not open yet, but some mercantile stores. And then down the street there's a liquor store and motel and some other stuff. I'm digging it. Very cool, uh, old town feel. Machi sticks, beer, friends. I got everything I need. <laughs> that one Jacob too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, what have I done? I got the deep dish. It's pizza night, guys. <laughs> Well, fast forward, and we got ourselves a motel room, and I'm in my jammy jams, just relaxing. Um, we watched the Bruins game on TV, um, hockey playoffs. Unfortunately, they lost, but they live to play another day. Um, second bedroom on the other side of that schwall, where Jesus and Two Slice are hanging. We even got a fridge in there. Which currently houses some Admiral Nelson spice rum and some Coke. We had some rum and Cokes and uh, ate some leftover pizza for sure. The uh, bathroom is also in there, standing shower, pretty nice. And uh, also, the owner, I asked if there was any laundry, and she said um, nothing available, and there's nothing available in town either. So, we are kind of stuck not having any laundry done. And then, about 10 minutes later, she came to my door and said, you know what, you can just do your laundry in our facilities here. I said, oh, thank you. So, got our laundry done, got some, ooh, some nice clean shirt on. This is still the um, base layer I got from the hiker box in Chama, by the way. So, I've been hanging on to this for a while just as like a nice extra warm layer to hold on to faux free so um got the laundry got a shower uploading these youtube videos which i'm dangerously close to being overdue on and uh watching some game drinks food relaxing basically so that is the end of day 54 on the cdt so it was a 15 mile uh, walk 
including a 1,000 foot climb uh, and some beautiful single track along both the CDT and the Colorado Trail with some uh, pretty nice scenery and a little bit of hard work and a lot of just beautiful trail and uh, water sources everywhere. About 45 minutes to an hour waiting for a hitch and uh, then a town day. Tomorrow we will be headed back on trail and probably back into the snow as we make our way north towards Salida. So we'll uh, check out some of the photos from today and then uh, we'll see you tomorrow.